Booster by Michelle Marcario. Dennis? The nurse at the local CVS where I scheduled my COVID booster shot. Call out my name. I've been over by the ma vaccines and magazines looking at the, uh, hoping to catch a glimpse of some more intellectually stimulating and better homes and gardens, but was out of luck. <laughs> I went hunted over to the pharmacy where a small area had been sectioned off with whiteboards for privacy. The nurse giving the shots that day was maybe 40, 45-ish, with freckled skin and a fair complexion and long, strawberry blonde hair peeled back into a ponytail. <laughs> Is this gonna work? I asked them for conversation and reassurance. I was getting the booster shot. Three shots? Four? If you got the blue shot in less than a year, that was an awful lot. I hoped it would work. The nurse looked at me sideways with a firm, twisted mouth. A kind of grow-up expression on his face. No, he said, it's all BS. Uh, wow, I mean, he was a nurse, right? My first thought was, we are in very close proximity. And <laughs> brother, you better be vaccinated. <laughs> Go ahead and roll up your sleeve. He frowned at the portion that my arm was exposed. You better pull the top down of your sweater. Take your sweater off. I complied. Did you get vaccinated? I have to be for work. The nurse whispered this, but you could tell he was very angry. Uh-huh, I murmured, <laughs> trying to keep my voice neutral. I mean, it's too soon for any of this. I mean, what about the flu shot? I asked looking through the partition at the line of people waiting to get theirs. The flu shot's different. I mean, it's been around for years. It's about 55% effective, which is pretty good. But the COVID shot? No. No, it hasn't been around long enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> I watched as he prepared the needle. He wasn't scaring me, honestly. He could have at least easily injected me with a placebo when I feel fine. I did wonder how he could be so at odds with the task that he was getting paid to do. My nephew is, believe me, he's a die-hard liberal. Works in the ER. One guy gets wheeled in, body full of bullets. What did they say he died of? COVID. Wow, I replied as the needle went into my arm. Oh, I mean, people are coming in dead on arrival. And what do they say they died of? COVID. He looked at me with a face to say that we are kindred spirits, me and you. You know, I got that kind of effect on people. I must say, what it on me? Recessive personality that has allowed others to project what they want onto it. Oh, these hospitals get paid a lot more money if they say people die from COVID. If you know what I mean. I really didn't, but as you know, my, my, mother, my mother died of COVID during the first throes of the disease. She'd been in a nursing home. The nurse who was holding her hand while I talked my mother through death's door on FaceTime was crying. But right before I left to get my booster, Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old who killed two Black Lives Matter protesters with his very own semi-automatic rifle, was acquitted of all charges. I was pretty sure I knew how this nurse would feel about this, but wanted verification. Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted today. I offered cautiously. He put a Band-Aid on my arm. Yup. You watch. Now, they're gonna start protesting. <clears throat> he looked disgusted. Thanks, I said. Yup. You just go sit over there and wait 15 minutes, just in case. He pointed distractedly to some seats near the pharmacy and kind of winked at me. Winked at me? <laughs> I looked at the line of trusting people waiting to get their dose from also called healthcare professionals. Would he tell those people that it was all a show? Not real, not all effective? Somehow I doubted it. His revelation to me seemed confessional rather than perfunctory. The next day, I told a few friends and my wife about what happened. All of them were gas. You need to report him. <laughs> he shouldn't be practicing. You know, I thought about this for a long time. 
No, we need him to practice to give shots, even if he doesn't believe in them. And Kiro just persisted. What he said was just so wrong. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't explain why I didn't feel the need to report the nurse. Clearly telling people who are getting vaccinated or boosted that the shot was ineffectual was a very bad idea. And if I thought it was typical of him to do that in a normal routine, maybe I would report him. But how did I really know for sure that he wouldn't do it again? A part of me felt like that I brought it out of him. That without my willingness to engage and uncover things and people, he would have just given me the shot in silence. <laughs> It was my fault. I needed to push him to the edge, get to the bottom of who he really was and how he felt about COVID and what he was doing. But I'm lucky. I don't have a big divide between my beliefs and my job. You know, I hope that something pulls that nurse one way or another in a direction that's true to him. 